okay hello guys i'm just quickly going to take you through shell navigation using windows and as you can see i am using git bash you can just google search git bash download and install and then you can use it just like you're using a linux terminal so let's get right ahead so you want to navigate the shell today i'm just going to be talking about three very simple uh, navigation commands we are going to be looking at how to print the working directory how to yeah, change a directory and how to list directories so start first and foremost with how to change a directory so currently I'm in my I'm in my user directory on my Windows machine so to change to a different directory I simply type CD which means change directory a space and then Possibly I want to go to desktop, so I just do this And now you can see my directory has been changed and then I have uh, My username then the system and I have desktop as my current directory So we want to check and be sure if we are really on the desktop we can use print working directory, which is the next simple navigation command we can use so pwd and hit enter and as you can see it has printed out my working directory c uses embedded desktop so it means i'm currently in my desktop but if you want to find out what files or directories you have in your current working directory you simply use the code ls and ls will give you a list of all the files in this directory so as you can see i have files uh, folders images shortcuts and what have you so that is how you can navigate shell using these three simple codes cd pwd and ls all right now there are different ways of changing the working directory so for instance if i want to move from my desktop to a particular folder i can just type um, using the absolute part name that is if i know the part name so i can just do cd slash and then short cards that is uh, the one we have here just this one this one here that is where I'm going to go to and then I hit enter now CD shortcuts no search file or directory why is that okay so now I want to go into the shortcuts folder on my desktop so probably CD this and then um, Shot cards, and there you have it. I am in my shortcuts directory. Okay, so that is that is how we can do it. So you see that to list this um, absolute part name, I had to use the back tick and not the forward tick or uh, the backslash and not the forward slash. So when I use the forward slash here, you realize that it gave me a error message, no such file or directory. But now when I change to using a backslash with the file a folder name, it went to the folder. Now let us test something I'm trying to confirm. Because I know in Linux, the file names really matter or the folder names really matter. I'm just going to check in Windows whether it is the same thing. So, for example, CD, sorry, CD um, backslash, and instead of capital shortcuts, I'm going to use desktop just to go back a little, all right, so that we see what, what was happening there. Um, desktop, see if it works no such file or directory and that is because currently we're in the shortcuts folder so it will work 
okay so in order to bypass this to go back to the desktop folder i can just do um cd using a relative path um, let's say that that i'm stepping out of the shortcuts and into the desktop and there you have it you see that i am currently back in my desktop so let's test um what i was trying to test earlier whether the small letters with the the lowercase writing of the folder name will work out so shortcuts yeah and it works out i'm there so if for example i do an ls i should see all the shortcuts i have on this pc sitting inside the so there you have it this is how you change directory you can either do it using an absolute path name or a relative uh, uh, path name thank you and just a simple tip now when you have hidden files on your machine and you want to list them using the ls you have to type the command ls a in order to get the hidden files to show otherwise your hidden files will not be visible when you are using ls so this is just another way of working on windows but like you're working on the linux machine but like i said remember with linux the naming conversions count so it is good to write the exact file name because if for example you write um shortcuts with small letters whereas you are looking for a folder shortcuts which is in caps you won't find that folder so take note of that and it is always good if your file has a long name to separate it by um let's say a dash or a, an underscore i i use this interchangeably so so thank you very much for watching i'll bring you more tidbits in my next video bye